Hey guys, it's Elisa again. I'm going to talk about something I've never heard brought up, questioned, asked about anything on the AMP Inner Circle. And I think maybe because it's kind of an uncomfortable topic, uh, so I'm going to talk about it. And it's about female menstruation, mooning, when a woman is having her period, that whole concept. One way that it's sometimes referred to the woman's monthly cycle is on the rag. I hate that. If you could never ever say that, that would make me very happy. I don't know why it bothers me. It just sounds uh, very derogatory. In reference to something that is so sacred and so magnificent and so beautiful, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about that today. Um, all the things that are going on with a woman during her moon time. I like to call it moon time because it is such a sacred kind of primal earthy process that's happening for a woman. And I would love for men to really understand a little bit more about how to support a woman during this time. So when a woman is ovulating, you know, that's when the egg comes out of the... Um, ovary and it's traveling down the fallopian tube, there's all kinds of chemicals going on, being released, the body's preparing for the sperm. A woman starts to feel that. She's getting, you know, a lot of energy surging through her body. It's the time when women are most, well, maybe not. <laughs> there's an opportunity for women to be a little bit more cranky and and, and introspective and needing alone time. For me personally, it's a time when I question myself, I question my life, where am I going, who are my friends, am I being nurtured and cared for? It's a very sacred time. The Native Americans actually refer to a woman's moon time as a sort of vision quest. And you've probably heard the term red tent, where women go and uh, be together. I mean, it's kind of a... Um, lost tradition here in the Western culture. But um, so this is why I wanted to talk about it a little more. So there's the ovulation period where there's you know a lot of energy happening, some crankiness happening. And then there's when a woman is actually bleeding. She's tired. She's, her body's hurting. What are some things that you can do during a woman's moon time to help her feel better and help your relationship feel better? or even if it's a, a, a girlfriend of yours, bring her some valerian root. Valerian root is a very strong, as long as she's not allergic to it, a very strong, relaxant, all natural, herbal plant um, tincture that really helps calm the body down. Back rubs, oh my God. Just say, hey, you know, I, I know you're mooning. Can I give you a back rub? Can I, can I massage your neck? Can I massage your shoulders? Oh my God, talk about bing, 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 thousand points. Yeah, and what else? Hot water bottle. Many women don't even know that like heat, really like nice water bottle, not so much electric heat, but that would be okay too if you didn't have other heat, but warm water down, you know, where the ovaries are, relaxing that area and really honoring that time um, of a woman's cycle. You as a man can have such a powerful influence on a woman, even if she's not taking care of herself in that way. And hopefully she is, but you can take it to that next level of nurturing. You know, it's, it's, it's a really beautiful opportunity to be intimate with your partner in a non-sexual way, is to really honor that time of the month that is, is about creation. You know, and I'm sure you've probably experienced women are very, can be emotional during this time, even over emotional. Um, because there's so many emotions flooding the body, hormones happening. Um, so I just wanted to say that, you know, um, <laughs> I just had some experiences recently when I was on my own moon time and, and a man said something to me that normally I would think, he said great tits, right? So I'm walking down the street, this is another point that, you know, I want you guys to understand like the impact of things that happen to women during the day that you might not know about. This guy like blurts out great tits to me. And normally I'd be like, oh, 
Okay, men, they're visual. He's appreciating me, and even though it's a base kind of way of relating, that's what he's doing. But during the moon time, like, I wanted to rip his head off. It, it bothered me for, like, a half an hour. I was like, what an asshole! Ah! You know, because there's so much of that kind of energy going on. Protecting myself, protecting my environment. So it was really kind of an affront. Um, so just wanted to give you a little bit of a clue in as to, you know, how to support women, how to love women, how to nurture and care for women, and just appreciating you being a man who's even interested in that and interested in hearing what I have to say about how to be um, a fantastic man and a fantastic lover and the upholder of you know, being an authentic man in the world today. We totally need you. So thank you so much for listening. And I appreciate this opportunity. So thank you.